They can hear me. And they can hear you. Hello. <laughs> I was about to say something funny, and then I... All that came out was just air. Yeah, all that, all, all that air you wasted trying to skip that lawnmower running. And, like, what's... The, what I don't <laughs> like is that sometimes... They'll be like... Come on, put your back into it. I'm like, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not spinning around halfway across the universe for fun. Well, welcome everyone to uh, to this back-breaking episode of the Hack Jack Show, where Jack starts off able to start start a lawnmower, probably for good reason. I I assume, unless he really is not put, putting us back into it, boy. You gotta. Uh, working last time but i think we're just having troubles with it uh maybe mm. maybe he needs oil maybe he needs a few up or maybe there's just a bunch of grass that wasn't taken out it could be anything but welcome yeah. folks to episode the correct number of episodes it's it's, it's, it's it's an issue i found and i'm glad to have put it now we're officially it's officially episode 185 <laughs> This would have been 184 if I didn't it didn't uh to use a, a comic book term fix our continuity. <laughs> 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 and uh, and welcome, sir. Welcome, Ghetto. We thank everyone for your for uh for your pa- for your patience before we properly started. And we do have a entree of top of topics for to for today. And but before we get to all of that's all of that stuff. Uh, I actually, first off, want to mm-hmm. kind of show myself for a bit, just a little, and that, and oh. in that, uh, I open a new comic, uh, comic book video review. And if you haven't watched it, please check out my review of Ultimate Spider-Man number two and three that I uploaded over the weekend. Give it, give it some love, and I want to reiterate something that I said in that video here. And that, um, that I'll be reviewing those comics every three issues. Mostly so that I'm not having to make individual videos on every issue that comes out. And plus, it will be a good way to kind of critique the the uh, the whole story as it goes. So, if you want to know what's gonna what what are gonna be my thoughts on issues four, five, and six, you're gonna have to wait till issue six comes out, which will be the the end of this month. Which means the the next video of Ultimate Spider Man will be coming out in July. So there you go. I just want to reiterate why I said what I uh stated in that video proper, but give it some love and it's a quick video too. Just my quick on my thoughts on issues two and three. And with that chilling done. I just had a realization. Uh Yeah. Didn't you say this is episode one eighty four? Is what is was this was if I didn't fix the counting. This is actually at 185. Okay, making sure. I I didn't know if we went back or forward. No. Yet. Oh, it's like daylight savings time all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just a legacy numbering. <laughs> no, if it was legacy <laughs> numbering, this would be like this would be episode this would be like episode, episode ten and then in brackets episode one eighty five. <laughs> It'll be like that. It will be like our third reboot. It's it, it's the tenth episode of the third reboot, but it's the hundred eighty fifth episode of the series. There you go. That's no how way you. <laughs> now I do actually before we get to any before we get to uh any kind of the current training topics. I actually I want to share something small and something that I did over the weekend. So, uh, so so Jack, I want to share this. Uh, while I was editing the Spider Man review, uh, mm-hmm. in in, be- in uh in between, I was watching uh this video from some from the from a YouTube from a YouTuber I don't remember his name, where basically he went to one hundred and four Goodwill stores all across the state of Florida to find good deals on video games. <laughs> And 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 he documents ev literally every store, every Goodwill store he in that state of what he didn't find, what he did find, and what he and 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 how much he spent with every visit. 
And I saw the whole thing. It's like over an hour long. It's a good time waster. So of course, there is some goodwills in our in our in our city. And I was like, you know what? Um, I took some time from my Sunday morning, and I went to the goodwill that's in, that is near the church that I'm, that I'm attending. And decided to browse around since they're open every day from from nine to nine. And at first I was like, okay, you know, what, let me do this guy's experiment. What do they have any video games? And surprisingly, Jack, the uh, the good one I went to has video games. Oh, video games uh, that no one wants, but it has them. It was mostly a whole bunch of box PC games. <laughs> oh, oh, I yeah, see. Box PC games that were in. Funny enough, they weren't like on a shelf. They were in a glass. Con- they were in a glass display container under the aisle that said uh, "valuables," or, or I'm guessing hmm. where they sell the more quote unquote expensive items. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I guess whatever these generic looking PC games that. That look like they could be browser games. Uh, they had that there. Oh, and when I went to the DVD section of the Goodwill, I did spy one Wii game in the DVD section. One Wii game that was just some random fi- uh fitness thing, like the like your Jillian Andersons or stuff like that. So. Uh, so so after as so that curiosity was done, I was like, all right, you know, I checked the games, I, you know, and I got exactly what that guy went through in his video, and that you might be lucky, but most of the time you're gonna come across games that no one wants or that are you can't even physically play because it's outdated. So I decided to, yeah, you know what? Let me actually browse on the stuff that I actually am interested in, which usually would be books, music, and movies. I didn't get any books, mm. but I did get some music and movies. And luckily, unlike last time when I was sharing, uh, for our good audience, I actually have pictures this time. <laughs> so you can actually see what the heck I am talking about. And it's going to be very relevant uh, when I start going into them. So and, I, and so I will show them here on the stream. And Jack, I will, I will, I will send you the pictures to the sources so you can see them for yourself. So let me move your little PNG model on t- on top of me. There you go. Go now like a a totem pole. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. <laughs> he says I didn't get any books because I can't read. <laughs> you know what? Funny. You know, Jack. I actually heard I heard a joke. I heard a joke about reading and black people. I don't know if I should repeat it what? though. <laughs> Say it. Uh, do you know how you get black people to read? How? Put subtitles in anime. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> not my joke. I'm not my joke. It's us. I heard. I heard. I heard him. I heard him in the podcast. I listened to my end in my walk today. All right. So first image. This one will be quick and easy out. Quick and easy out of the way. So Jack, let me send you that image real quick. Upload this file to you. Uh, so the first one, Jack, that you're going to see is is fairly straightforward. I sent to you in in the, in the sources, and I'll show you to you guys here on the stream. I got another re- I got another record. This and this and this one really nothing too special. In fact, in the <laughs> for some reason in the good one I I was in. There was a surprisingly number of, of of vinyl records that are the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. I wasn't aware we had a big Mormon population in our city. Anyways, so the, out of but there was a whole bunch of stuff that just didn't look too interesting. This was the interesting one that was close, and it's basically a it's it's a record of classical music with the only with the only things I recognize is. A piece by Debussy called Reverie and Swan Lake. That's the only things that <laughs> I'll grow up. That's the only two things I only two that I, I I recognize. The record does work. I, tr- I listen to both sides today. 
system. That's pretty much straightforward. Nothing, nothing uh, unique about it besides the fact it is in stereo, you know, which was the style at the time. All right. So up, so up next. After, so up next after that this is where we get to the interesting stuff. So that's all the piece of music I got. The rest are actually gonna be in this. It's gonna be an assortment of DVDs that that I founded. Some of them are interesting. So first on, Jack, you like you like Guardians of the Galaxy movies? Eh. That's a great. That's a great. Eh. Great answer. Great answer. As you said, the family feud. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, if you think those movies are uh, then you will definitely love this horror movie that I'm going to share with you right now. And to the audience called Slither. Which is, which is written. Slither. Slither. Which is written and directed by James Gunn. This is one of the movies he did post-tra- post-trauma and before he, before he started uh, making the, working for Marvel Studios. I saw, I, I see it many times kind of like on like, on some streaming service, and I'm like, you know what? I I feel mildly perverted. Let me buy it, <laughs> and it's cheap too. As you can tell, the I can't take off the price tag, so you'll see how much I spend. It's only a dollar ninety nine, and well, I'll I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know if whatever if what happens in that cover actually happens, because if not, I will you know I won't I won't I won't lie I will be disappointed. I want all these little things to get inside that tub with that woman's tub. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> there you go. In fiction, of course, in Minecraft. <laughs> all right. So, moving away from horror, uh, the next three are actually going to be all animes. And let me know if you guys recognize this because. There was a surprising small number of animes that were on, on that DVD shelf. The f- and the first one that caught my attention is something I never heard of, but it was one of those, you know what? It's cheap. Let me see for myself. Jack, you'll you'll see it right now. And for the audience here, you you will also see it. You all you'll also see it. So it's an anime called Scrapped Princess. It's, it, have you heard of this, Jack? Heard of Scrapped Princess? Mm, no. What about our audience? Is this rec- is this anime recognizable to anyone? It's an early two thousands anime. Early two thousands, and this is the complete collection. Off for three uh, three ninety nine. Yellow says he knows of this, but it, but it, but has he actually watched it? And luckily for a full, like the full show, full collection, all the DVDs are in. But I have yet to try to actually see if it's um, if any of the DVDs are you know in good condition to watch. But it's something. It's a fancy anime, and from what I've read from like the plot blurb on the back, apparently it's a story about apparently the princess here, so the blonde woman you see on the cover, I assume is the princess. Apparently, there's a prophecy tied to her that she is going to be the the person that ends up destroying the world. And so a whole bunch of people are trying to kill her so they can stop that. And she's protected by uh, two uh, by two young knights. I think she's related to one of them, like a brother. So I don't I don't know if it's going to be that type of relationship. So I'm going to assume just a normal, healthy sibling relationship and some other and, and some and some other other. Uh, protagonist i don't know what this is this could just be some uh the uh, sh- uh sh- shoujo anime i to see for myself and find out up next our second anime to present this evening it's another it's another an- it's another anima anima oof no not that thing it's another yeah. <laughs> it's another anime of of the saint era this one accidentally I accidentally took this picture upside down. My apologies. <laughs> I apologize. I, and I did not fix I did not fix it when I uploaded it. Oh, kind of overlooked it. So I'm gonna fix it for, so let me see, can I fix this for you guys? 
I thought we I think I can. Uh, da da da. Bum. Okay, one, one more. Let's see, one more. Bum. There we go. All right, fix for you guys on stream. Jag is not to uh read, uh read it upside down. It's called Crest of the Stars, another fantasy like anime. For some reason, there was multiple DVDs of this series in the good in the Goodwill. I got volume one. And if I enjoy it, I barely know anything about it. All, but it has like four volumes, and all of them were at that Goodwill. So, I will, I will, I will see and report back if this is even anything worth watching. Only thing I know is that, um, it's called Crest of the Stars. That's my, that's my insight into it. Brilliant insight. And. Johnny says that ourselves dearly miss. I would say one of the things, one of the reasons why this one and the this anime and the anime I showed previously why I got it was because of the art style. It was like wow, this is some two thousands art style, and you know what? That was like, oh, that was twenty four years ago, twenty more than twenty years ago that that we seen anime look like this, where it was that transition from the stuff that what the nineties looked like into the 2000s which basically means that which basically means that characters are going to look younger their eyes going to look more rounder and you're going to see a whole bunch of anime um animators re heavily uh, heavily utilize a uh, digital very early digital animation in the, and it's either go go going to or not going to hold up so it's a very interesting era of anime it also, he has watched this and that he absolutely cannot tell me anything about it besides that he watched it. Great. Amazing. His insight is just the same as me. Granted, anime. <laughs> Ghetto has seen a lot of anime in his life, so. So at this point, he, he, it has, the anime has to be really something special for him to, for him to remember. And lastly. Uh, for, for the last anime to showcase, this is one everyone should know. Or, in, or if you don't know, uh, you better learn quickly because this is considered an, an all-timers classic. Jack sent you in the sources, and for the audience, here you go. I might have to fix the... There we go. I have to fix the thing here. Uh, ba boom And... Oh! Ba boom It is Speed Racer! Not the post show, Thing like the first six episodes, I want to say. Apparently, this is a collector's edition of the original, um, I'm assuming English dub of Speed Racer. And it was actually unique. So what you see on screen is just the actual, it's just the, the actual DVD cover. But uh, the act, but um, the but the DVD came with the with the actually a, a cool sleeve, where the where the front of the sleeve actually had a rubber texture like a t like a tire. I thought that was pretty neat. So yeah, I saw this. I was like, you know what? This is <laughs> this is important history. You know, the show is not that there's really nothing special over in Japan, but in the U.S., it was like one of the earliest animes to be brought brought over to you know, into the United States. And so I was like, you know what? Have a piece of an anime history. The only thing I'm probably missing. From this era is probably Astro Boy, the original Ape Man, and Battle of the Planets, which I've come to learn, which I've come to learn that that the whole Battle of the Planets, aka Gatchaman, or uh, what was it called, S Sci Science Ninja Team Gatchaman, the whole show is in is in English, which that's actually pretty rare. It's actually one of the more successful like old animes to. Uh, old animes that were pretty successful at the time. All right, so and now the actual last piece, and I say, and guess what, Jack? I saved the best for last. I saved the best mm -hmm. for last because for our last showcase for I go over the weekend, I got the original DVD set of the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man film, to be exact. The same DVD set that I used to own back when I was a kid. 
And before I bought it, I looked inside and it had both disc one and disc two. Which means that probably sometime this week, I'm going to pop this open. I'm not going to watch the I may watch the movie in widescreen. Ooh, remember that, Jack? We had the choice of buy, buying either widescreen or full screen. True. And as a kid, I hated widescreen. <laughs> yes, because you... Is, oh, isn't that funny? Te- you hated widescreen because full screen, the whole TV's the movie. But now looking back, yeah, widescreen was absolutely the better choice. <laughs> <laughs> but now... Oh my god, how, how, how would this 2000... To widescreen movie is not will look on my fancy flat screen TV. Now I'm curious. <laughs> but what I'm more curious is that is to look at all the special bonus features that this DVD had. That I rem- as a kid I spent hours upon hours of nights just going through watching every single behind the scenes featurette. The the whole I think there was like a whole c- collection of of comic covers of the main amazing spider-man series that's where you can like with your dvd remote control you can look at every cover of at that time at, at that time what was from the first issue of amazing spider-man all the way to the most recent which at that time was and this is for the spider-man fans who know at that time that would have been the uh the rebooted 2000s Amazing Spider-Man series at the early start of the J. My- Michael Straczynski run, and I think one, and I think, and in this DVD, the unfortunately, I th- I think the most up to date comic at that time was the infamous Amazing Spider-Man number 36. Which Jack, do you know, uh, what could be infamous about Amazing Spider-Man number 36? No, I have no idea. So, Amazing Spider-Man number thirty-six of this of this re- of the early two thousands of uh, Amazing series is infamous because that because that was the because that was the infamous nine eleven issue. Oh <laughs> yes, and it has a and it has a pretty uh, uh, it, a very minimal minimalist cover. Where all it is is just you see the text for Amazing Spider-Man number thirty-six on a navy blue black ra- background, and that's it. And the actual book itself is literally the Marvel heroes uh, reacting to the events of nine eleven. And that issue also has an infamous moment that was was seen very out of character. There's an infamous moment where you see Doctor Doom, that Doctor Doom, shed mm-hmm. a, t- a si- she sheds a single tear for uh, for the victims of 9/11. It should have been me. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> so I read it. It's honestly aside from that one weird mo- out of character moment for Doctor Doom. Uh, they, you know, it's a, I think it's a good, uh, homage and honor to the peep to the actual real people who helped out, um, in that, in that, in that tragedy, there's actually barely any dialogue. And for the most, and it is nice to see like all the heroes come together to, to help them. The only thing that you have to actually kind of take away from your brain is that you know in the marvel universe there's like a 9 11s happening almost every other month that the heroes are stopping so it's just uh, so big but because this is actually it's it's just one of those things that don't think too hard about it their heart was in the right place it, it was not in too embarrassed it look and when you read it nowadays is nothing it's nothing embarrassing aside just a few like moments that are like eh, that doesn't really make any sense that's but luckily that's about as far as it goes <laughs> in terms of what actually happens to the issue and then literally the next issue after that uh it, it the uh they 
the actual storyline that was going on just resumes. So for a whole month, Spider-Man's story pauses so they can do an honor issue of 9-11. I'm reading it right now. It's pretty interesting. Oh, they got the fan the, the Mr. Fantastic like the Fantastic guys, the Fantastic Four here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone is is it it was the Smash Brothers Ultimate the Marvel. Oh, <laughs> everyone was here. Everyone is here. On 9 11. Oh my god, Daredevil's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna be a big help. <laughs> I can hear someone. Yeah, yeah right. he could be like a. That's right. He, he, he could be pretty much like those dogs that'll just hear people. You know, actually, you know, yeah, take that bad. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. And I was, yeah, Kingpin's also in the comment. You know, Kingpin makes a lot more sense because at least, you know, he lives in New York City. It's despite his criminal empire, I'm sure he, you know, he would care for something like that. He's not completely the balls on one of those people. We're going. Why didn't you stop anything? Like yelling at the Spider Man. Like this. Okay, yes, he he has done a lot of things, but can he really <laughs> could, react could, to could, that? Could the could the web stop <laughs> stop the beans from melting? Let's see. Um, we see some of the chat. Is guess it was a malfunctioning Doom bot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Guess also mentioned Notch Juggernaut was also there, relieving that time he also destroyed the Twin Towers. So, oh, that, I'm tell me that's real. Did did Juggernaut destroy the Twin Towers like an old issue of X Men? And lastly, Magneto was sick because <laughs> there have been there may have been mutants in the tower. <laughs> Oh man! So yeah, that was like at the time when this DVD came out. That was like the most um, current issue, at least when I remember. It probably it probably isn't, but that but that's just that's just what I can remember in regards to this DVD, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Ooh, I just I just thought of something. So my little so my little brother, he pre ascent he basically has. Uh, the last int working Nintendo Wii in our household, um, w with the original model, which means he could still play GameCube games on it before they took that away, in future uh, revisions. And he has some, some GameCube controllers, and I'm actually, you know, what I'm thinking of maybe getting him the first Spider-Man game of the first movie, just to see how how he will do. Because I remember when I played that game as a kid. Uh, I, I, I sucked at it. <laughs> I could, I, Jack, that original, mm -hmm. that original Spider-Man game for, for, based on the first movie, I could barely defeat Uncle Ben's killer. Really? And, yes. And then after you defeat Uncle Ben's killer, it goes straight into your first fight with the Green Goblin and at that point, that's why I stopped. I could never, I could never finish that mission because I, I couldn't, I didn't have, I couldn't intuit the control, the web swinging controls because you're trying to fight him oh, while he's on his glider. And you're, and you're, and keep in mind, this is before the Spider Man 2 web swinging. So when Spider Man swings, you know, he's pretty much just shooting his webs right in through the ether up into the air. So, I should give him that just just to kind of, just as a, as a little trolling, a little a little troll gift. See, like here, this is my play. This game this is my Spider Man. Like your PS4 Spider Man. Well, here, have a taste of this. Oh, so Juggernaut destroyed the Twin Towers and McFarland Spider Spider Man. Oh, the adjective list Spider Man series. Or oh, wait, oh. is it is it that one or is it just in one of the? Or is it just in one of the during like the McFarlane's run on the Amazing series? Let me know. Let me know, Ghetto. You know, wait. Does this mean that that just makes it even worse? Because that means that the the whole fight with the the Middle East was just literally going. What the, literally the government government going? Oh, a mutant did this, huh? Well, let's go get some oil. <laughs> Let's we, go get some oil. We gotta stop. We, we, we can blame it on them. 
blame, 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 blame the gas prices on the mutants. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure if I, I'm sure if you read a whole bunch of comics from that era, there's gonna be a whole bunch of, of not so subtle jabs at the Bush administration and their, uh, what's that word? What's that? What's oh, what's that word? And their foreign policy. I am very sure. <laughs> yeah. You're right, Dr. Crow. 7 Eleven was a part time job. <laughs> yeah. A part time job. A part time job. Not a hit. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Miss Sarah's here. The only spider she ever played was on the first PlayStation. Ah, yes. Which is also just called Spider Man for the P or or uh, colloquially known as Spider Man PS One, classic game, classic. And you're not old; you're young at heart. And also, you're not actually old. Wait, start saying that when you're when you're act when you're actually older, woman. You're still young. Uh, let's see. Get uh, and also get says it was issue sixteen of Adjectiveless Spider Man. It was a crossover with Liefeld's X Force. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, and oh, and since we're on the topic of Spider-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man villains, Jack, mm -hmm. I think this would be a good transition into the first video we're going to watch. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. So this just came. It just came out today. There's a brand a brand new trailer for the third, the third and possibly on and last. Uh, Venom, uh, Sony verse Venom movie, or the or the only actually no think about it, aside from Spider Man the only successful Sony Marvel movies. <laughs> wow, that says a lot. That's oh you know, we, you know we can't say Craven Craven could still be the big hit. You are you excited for Craven Jack? You want to see Craven the Hunter? <laughs> I forgot about Craven. Nah, you know nah, you can. Who can? Who who could forget? <laughs> like I literally have to take a minute to be like Craven, Craven, Craven. Is that the the one guy that looks like a bird? Like oh wait, no, that's the vulture. <laughs> Chinese says Morbius was a success in the hearts of half a dozen people. <laughs> oh no, they're more, but. Yeah, and oh, and don't forget, right, hey guys? If you have a next Netflix account, you can watch Madam Web on Netflix right now. So watch it before it goes away. If you want to truly experience, yeah, it it was yeah. <laughs> I saw that show. I I saw that movie. It was okay. <laughs> it was just. I think the problem was the. To be honest, the problem was marketing. The mar. Yeah, it was the marketing. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, it hey, it, it to me, it feels like it will be a nice standalone thing if they didn't really mention so much that all the spiders are here, except for Peter. But all the spiders are here. All the spider women, ladies, ladies. But then when you when you see it, it's like, oh yeah, you see like. There, you you see them for the first initial five minutes. You're like, oh my god, we're gonna see what happens, and like, then you realize, oh, timey wimey bullshit. Uh, <laughs> not not really. We're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about them as when they're younger. Also, and also here, guys, says I'm sorry for my Latino brothers. Y'all lost in Puerto. No, it, no, we were so excited to see Bad Bunny on the screen. Weren't you excited, Jack, to be represented by Bad Bunny? No. Damn, you racist. No. I guess Port is he Puerto Rican? I think he's Puerto Rican. Damn, now you are racist. You think I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> there we go. I I did the Uno reverse card. <laughs> no -uh, no -uh, uh uh I I can't race the Puerto Rican and you know why. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh Gus is marking what's the lead actress say saying the movie sucks. No, 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 she didn't say that exactly. She just said that it's a movie your boyfriend would like. So Miss Sarah, go ahead and watch <laughs> watch that movie with with your SO. He will love it and he will thank you every day that he got 
have the privilege to watch Madam Web with you. In Wait, fact, Bad Bunny is a wrestler now? What? Oh, yeah. So it, the movie the guy was mentioning that got canceled, El Muerto, he's literally just like this this one issue villain of, from the Spider-Man comics. Literally only one issue. And he is this luchador-themed villain. N- uh, nothing like Bane, just like he's a luchador. Oh. Um. No, no. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing here that he, Bad Bunny and WWE. Oh, that would turn out to be a decent wrestler. You can't get over it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, he had to use something with all that work he put into uh, uh, El Muerto. And what them? Sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Seeing Bad Bunny try to do a freaking haymaker. No, nah, you know it, it's kind of weird. You know, it sh- you should do. There should be a a pay per view pay per view match between Bad Bunny and 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 Stephen Amell, so we can have two superhero two superhero actors wrestling wrestling in the ring. I was I would Although pay I'll pay the better as a wrestler than a singer. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll see that. I still think about that, uh, Johnny. I still think about that that um, what was it? I think it was I don't know. It was SmackDown or Raw, whichever one it was. When Stephen Amell teamed up with, um, I forget who he teamed up with. I forget who he teamed up with to do a tag team match with. Was it Cody Ziggler? Or against Cody Ziggler? Or was it no? It was Stardust. Stardust, which I think I think are the same person. Well, I'm not a wrestling fan because so I'm or else I'm be talking out of my butt. Anyway. Oh, I also gotta say something, Dr. Crow. Did you really not know that I'm Latino? Yeah, you should you should talk. But you should add some more Latino in your voice, man. You want me to talk about being frijoles and and horchata? What do you want me to say? No, hombre, wey, I want you to talk like oh, this, sí, man. Tú tienes que yo hablo así. Yeah, Doctor Pajarito, Doctor Pajarito doesn't understand you, man. Who can't escape? I'm not there. Oh, I want to see who is Hispanic. Dr. Kratz is all here. Latino now. The tres is the imbecile. Oh, man. All right. So, uh, Jack, I sent you the, the trailer for Venom on the sources, and I have the trailer pulled up on, on the live stream right now. So let me know when you're ready, and we'll go ahead and watch the trailer all together and do and react to it. You gotta just throw some Spanglish in there, like every like every cartoon character ever. Uh, sure. Uh, go, uh, como estas, ghetto? There, there's your Spanglish. <laughs> como estas, ghetto? <laughs> Got an eighty yard the ghetto. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm ready. All right then, let's let's watch the trailer for Venom: The Last Dance in three, two, one, play. You should probably know that I have a really dark and unpredictable side to me. Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say when. When? Oh, the poor dog. Pause for a second. What? I would. I would. The poor dog. Ah, he'll live. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, so far, all right. So I guess it's establishing that uh, Eddie's a crime fighter, and you know what? That's good. Let's get to see him as the lethal protector. Thinking, uh, I, let's see. I try to, rem- I try to remember what happened in Venom Two, or Let There Be Carnage, as it's subtitled. I think he. They did do that, but they were like pretty much Eddie and the Venom symbiote were just kind of like bickering throughout the entire movie that may may or not have been an allegory for homosexual relationships. Certainly read it that way if you if you want to. So I guess here now they're working together, they're in harmony. 
And they're going to kill all these fools, man. Kill all these fools, man. Yeah, save all these, save all these perritos, man. He, man, they're awful people doing those other perritos. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm at forty-four seconds. All right, I'm ready. All right, play in three, two, one, play. We are. We are. No. Oh, look, that was funny. He always knew it was impossible. Ah, uh, there, there's the pop, so pop song cover. Hey, look, it's, it's Baron sure Mor. Pause a second. There's a Marvel actor mm -hmm. right there. It's Bar that was Baron Mordor from the Doctor Strange movies. Good, th good, good thing. Now he's in the Venom movies. Good for him. He's <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to point that out. All right, let's let's continue in three, two, one, play. Let's go get him. Oh, I hate the pop song when they do this. Yeah, same. Lazy. One movie does, and now every single movie wants to do it. Yep. <laughs> it has to be a reason they're after us. Oh, it's, ba it's basically Transformers. <laughs> oh no. Huh. All right, pause. All right. So, here is what I'm predicting. They're gonna do a whole thing. Though. There's gonna be a whole invasion of the symbiotes. So this is here's what I'm thinking, Jack. I doubt they're going to do the original thing of when the symbiotes actually, like, came to Earth. Because this can go in multiple ways. Uh, they can go straight forward with just the whole, uh, like, a, a handful of symbiotes come down. They take over some hosts. And we got to stop all of them. Very, very <laughs> Transformers. Take over some hoes. <laughs> exactly. Um, the fact I'm, I'm looking at that creature, a very dragon like creature, that could be a hint that there could be you adapting some recent Venom lore. Which, uh, for those who are unaware, back in 2019, no, tw no, 2017, I want to say, no, 2018, I'm sorry, 2018, um, there was some, uh, there, there was some additional lore added to the symbi to the symbiote. In which basically, that the that the symbiote was a creation of an ancient evil deity known as Null, and that's spelled K N U L L, and he and and Null and Null is basically like he is the creator of the symbiotes, and it was and it's through him that the symbiotes are what they are today, and and in that storyline Venom. Uh, or Eddie Brock had to essentially go up, go, uh, go against what is essentially to this the the, the sense essentially the god to the symbiotes and be, and Eldritch with god of darkness yeah and hmm. with um what was it and as a concept and one of the things they kind of did was that they upgraded the symbiote to what it could do so that it could actually like it gave. Eddie, Eddie, to uh, like literally wings of a dragon, and able to be much stronger, and actually to fly and stuff like that. What the hell is all this? My God, why does he look like a Castlevania boss? Because because the person who wrote this storyline by the name of Do, uh, Donny Donny Cates, uh, mm -hmm. he lo he loves his he he loves his uh. 
is satanic imagery. And I can I can say it and I can say that for a fact since he was a practicing Satanist for a while with his well, with his wife. This is public information. Ugh. Yeah. So or I should say ex wife, I think. Anyways, that's that's irrelevant. Good. <laughs> And yeah, Johnny, it was it, and it it really it wasn't. I, I would say it wasn't a waste of Ryan Stigman's talents because the art in those early issues was great. I, but uh, after a while, though, oh, that's right. With the first big storyline was I think it was called uh, what was it? It was one with Carnage, for the uh, those who remember Absolute Carnage. Oh yeah, after that, that that took me out of continuing that Venom series, and so. It had a lot of interesting things going on, but yeah, that that just that storyline, that event. I'm sorry, absolute carnage just deterred me from from reading. And when I did get back into it, it was they added a whole bunch of new other things. Anyways, so what's relevant to this movie that they could be doing a version of that, probably a very bootleg version of Noel. That. And they probably, and they probably might do something like, oh, he is something that the Venom symbiote is like. They might do the God thing, or he just could be another big bad guy from big bad alien from space. So, but, but I'm assuming all this just because one of the monsters we saw was a dragon. That's literally it. They it could be none of that, and they could have be using any other symbiote story that has happened in the past thirty odd years. But all right, that's enough of that. Yeah. Uh, I have a quick question. I just realized since mm -hmm. they, I mean, they probably don't want him back, but like, how come they never just use Andrew Garfield Spider Man? Since it is Sony. That, that is a great question. That is a great question. Uh, I don't know if this is confirmed or not or a rumor, but apparently, uh, the Madam Web movie was supposed to, was supposed to tie to the Garfield movies. Andrew Garfield, I should say. Huh. Yeah, so <laughs> to the Garfield movie, yeah, yeah, not uh, not hey, yeah, not, not that Garfield, <laughs> the one with the long, the one with the long neck. So, yeah. so and, and Andrew Garfield, as far as I understand, he is still under contract with Sony, so there is nothing stopping him from continuing the Amazing series, especially since they're gonna run out of stories to do with the Tom Holland version of a, a Spider Man. It's just kind of weird that they set up like a whole Venom verse without having Spider Man, Andrew Garfield, or Spider Man. Yeah. Because, like, they, they literally have a Spider Man, and people did enjoy having Andrew Garfield, at least whenever they did the, the whole like meet these, meet the Spider Mans, the, the three Spider Mans. Yeah, yeah. Tom Holland and Toby. Yeah, and there are and there are definitely some people who actually prefer the Andrew Garfield version over uh, Toby's or Tom's. So there's an audience there. Uh, why Sony don't doesn't do it? Who could say? It could be a, something as simple as negotiating contracts to literally, uh, to to literally no one at Sony Pictures knows how to make a movie, as evidenced by Morbius and Madam Web. Like seriously, it's just like I feel like it, at least at least tie it into the same universe instead of just having it separate universes. Oh, and Johnny says three universes and no black cat. Show everyone above. Be careful what you that wish. True. Be careful what you wish for, Johnny. We could have gotten a a a a, a, a silver specter and black cat movie that's all about breaking the glass ceiling. That could have been a thing. Along no, I feel like if they <laughs> added in Black Cat, it would just be another CW show. Her, at least her outfit will look. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, the outfit would look amazing. No, but no, the, it will the, be the C love triangles would be terrible. No, it will be a C that outfit will be CW quality. Oh, that's true. Uh, yep, and let's see. You got a black black cat with Main Spider Man too. I mean, in the games, I get. I think. Not unless she had like a small cameo in that movie that or or in a deleted scene. Because Mary Jane was also supposed to be main Spider-Man too, but then they cut her scene. Same thing with the scene that turns out Richard Parker was alive. Uh, let's see. Get also said it was supposed to be Hollis Spider-Man tomorrow shot that down. 
and they realize the timeline doesn't fit since 2003, and Madden West straight takes a scene from Spider Man 1. <laughs> oh, that's right. I think they took, they literally reused, re- reused the scene from the first Spider Man movie, shot, shot for shot. <laughs> Yeah, so she literally is a recurring character in that movie. Felicia? Oh, you know what? I haven't seen the Bang movies in a long time, so I'll take your word on it. Yeah, anyway, it's a whole mess. Honestly, it's a whole mess, and really, at this point, Sony should just give it up. Like, yeah. they clearly have shown that unless they have a singular creative team, like a San Raimi and his crew, that are dedicated to make to make these movies of... Or even even the stuff with amazing well barely the stuff with ma- amazing and barely worked. Uh, they can't make it. They can't do it, and they can't just give every Spider Man villain their own their own movie and try to gaslight the audience to thinking they're more important than they actually are. <laughs> they're they only gave away with Venom because because at least normal normal people know who Venom is, and Venom has a great look to him that makes him very marketable. And he has enough storylines without Spider-Man that you could pull from to have something decent. But only decent. Give me more movies of Spider-Man. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, Robinson, I need, I, Robinson, I need, I, I need more puff pieces on Spider-Man. I mean, more hit pieces, I mean. <laughs> we we need to make these t- three hour YouTube documentary Smeary the Man <laughs> with false allegations and guilt by associations. Get Parker to edit it. All right. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue the trailer. I'm at two minutes twenty three seconds. Same here. All right. Starting in three, two, one. Is that Russell Crowe? Everything will end. You may not make it out of this alive, buddy. Eddie, the time has come. Be honest with me. How fast do you think you can get that thing to go without killing it? Only one way to find out! We're oh, they, We're red They just ran out of bu- did they did they run out of budget? Was was that the last the a, a venom horse? <laughs> Venorse. That seems like a weird thing that like this seems like a weird thing. Weird thing to end on. I guess it's supposed to be funny. I guess. I mean, now nah, you know the symbiote became very comedical. I mean, they established their their kind of comedic thing since the first movie. I guess now is yeah. it's more evident now. Although, yeah, although, 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 although two, although two made it even more so with that with that club scene. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, true, <laughs> true. Johnny says, tell the Spidey's name was on the flight on those flight logs. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, so the wonder if Toxic will be in this picture since they set him up in the last one. I'm I'm sure like oh you know I'm surprised. I'm sup- of all the symbiote or venom related villains, I'm surprised they haven't done Scream yet. Or have they? Not not unless they can't use her because they use her in the in the Spider Man Two game, they, which that's still, still silly. I'm surprised they haven't used Scream or even introduce Anti Venom. That at least would be neat. The Anti Venom, even if it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Uh, maybe I actually didn't mind Carnage in 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 the second movie. Uh, the only thing I just kind of wish was that just make these movies a hard, give them the hard R. <laughs> Not that hard R, but you know what I mean. <laughs> As honestly, it just get, just make these movies rated R and, you know, people will show up for the, for, for the spectacle and the blood and guts. But now we gotta appeal to everyone with them PG-13s. It's apparent because those make money according to some someone. 
Anyways, yep, that was Venom The Last Dance. I'll most likely watch it, but I'm not as excited, honestly, as I was for the Carnage one, because at least there was something I could look forward to, and that one was Carnage, and, and to see it. What was her name? Banshee? No, not Banshee. No, Shriek. Carnage, yeah. like, uh, his little... His little fly, fly honey, uh, that he, that that he pulled by by being a mass murderer. Don't you love it? Remember, Jack. If you want to, if you want your own fly honey, be a mass murderer. Chicks dig that. Hell yeah! Isn't that right, Miss Seven? <laughs> Chicks dig a mass murderer. All right. Let me. All right. Let me go back to the main scene. So that was Venom. Jack, uh, after watching that trailer, uh, th- does it entice you to check out uh, Venom 3? Uh, rental matinee. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. Hey, not even a matinee. I'm more, this, this is, a, this is a, a hard rental. Well, the thing is, like, when I say matinee, I, I literally get them for like five bucks. So it's practically rental. Gotcha. This Harris is not selective murder. <laughs> oh, she's a, she only would go for selective murder at most. Ah, uh, yeah, she's a she. She has standards, gentlemen. She has standards. Not any mass murder would do. All right. Well, now let's see. Uh, Jack, we'll go ahead and check out. Uh, the tra- uh the trailer you uh, the trailer you suggested, and. And and funny enough, it's a funny enough. It follow and it follows up, uh, literally the uh, the ep the episode re- that I, I re uploaded today with uh, ep- one seventy four, eleven epi- yeah. eleven episodes later, we're breaking it back, baby. So see see more Dragon Ball content, and as well, we will make sure to do the lore accurate names, uh, all, all, all so that Johnny doesn't get his britches in a bundle. So we'll see. No, Tien, 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 Tien. There, there you go. Am I, am I triggering him? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I say, you said the trailer came out four days ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it came out four days ago. I, I was kind of surprised to see it. All right, then here. Do, 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 do. Let me go ahead and send you the, give you the link. Well, get get things set up. Oh wait, no, oh no, you already have it. Never mind. Okay, I just noticed that you already have the video on your end. All right, so let me get things ready. Bum, bum, bum. Johnny says, we were supposed to be homies. How could you betray him, Jack? You can't betray your homies like that. Homies don't make other homies lose the game. <laughs> what do you got to say to that, Johnny? <laughs> Yo, it says all the Venom movies are hard, are are hard rentals. Yeah, fair enough. And he also says they're literally the movies FX would play in the middle of the day. You know, I could see that an FX movie marathon of Amazing Spider-Man One, Amazing Spider-Man Two, Spider-Man Three, only Spider-Man Three, and Venom One and Venom Two. <laughs> all right. Jack, I have the trailer set up on my end, and so same here. All uh, right, it says you. It says you wanted to watch this. You can have the. You can control. You. Uh, you can start off the count on your end. All right, three, two, one, play. Oh, yeah. Why do I recognize this? That. That little you track I played. Boo! Police love. Boo! Get yeah. these broads out of here. That's right, little kids. Beat them. <laughs> beat her up. Beat her up. Golden Chugs, beat up these broads. Get, <laughs> get these Universe Six frogs out of here. Get them out of here. With their tingly backs and everything. Oh my god, oh yeah, the tingly backs. Their noodle arms. Gosh, the kids look more muscular than them. <laughs> 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 oh my god, he 
<laughs> Call me Triple H. <laughs> Come on, Goten. Ooh. Ooh. The fusion, the fusion effect looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful with the music. And you know how bad oh, oh, really? Yeah, you know how bad Oh, true. So, we'll pause for a second. Alright, so, right, so we got the fusions, which, you know, has to be ex Well, you know, I would say that's to be expected, but, you know, sometimes they don't add stuff like that. So we're gonna get fusions. I'm guessing we're gonna get all the fusions. All your Vegitos, Gogetas, your Goat Tanks. Your... I can't wait for... Ah, uh, what was it? Uh, ka ka Khalifla, Kale... What, what's the fusion between no. Kale and, ka and Khalifla again? Kale Kale Kale... Kale Kier. No, Kale Kill. Kale Kill. I can't wait for... Oh. <laughs> her Kill Kale <laughs> fusion. Oh, if, they, um... if they do the Vitaro earrings where you can, like, fuse anyone with anyone... That'd be amazing. Yeah, now you gotta play a kale kill. Now you gotta play the Dragon Ball Fusions if you want that, and that's only on the 3DS. Oh, oh, Damn. Oh, although it would be neat if we can have some original fusions, like what Budokai 2 had with the Goku and the Tiencha. Yeah, Tiencha. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, but I doubt. Or, or should I, we say Tiencha? Hmm. Hmm. I think I I think it would just be called Tencha. That makes sense. That makes sense. Tencha. Tenchan. Tenchan. Tenchan, huh? <laughs> Tenchan. Oh, man. All right. All right. Let's continue the trailer. Go ahead on your account. All right. Three, two. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm in the wrong one. Three, two, one. Play. Yeah, the donut! Ah, yeah, there's the Piccolo bottle. there for the assist. Do you really think you can beat me? The fun is just getting started. I refuse to lose. Ah, oh. yep, they know their audience. They know they, what the people know, want to know. see. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about him. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Zamatsu. <laughs> exactly, you got Hakai out of existence. I think Gogeta could have been the master. Yeah, if given enough time, probably. If <laughs> given enough prep time? <laughs> <laughs> that age old argument. I'm sure I could beat up Johnny if given enough prep time. <laughs> Gun! Oh, it seems like it's only gonna be those fusion. No, I mean, no. Pause. Yep. Not unless they do variations, like you get your Super Saiyan Gogeta, or in your Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. Like not unless they do that. That will at least be. No, well, the the thing is that remember they did like mid transformation stuff. Yeah, but it also, but in in these games, a lot of the uh, the transformation, these these transformations sometimes their own characters. And they're and the trailer. They're just gonna highlight, you know, the current, the current renditions of these characters, which is gonna be the blue ones. Well, even then, it, I, I was still saying it's gonna only only gonna be these fusions. It's not gonna be something like Goku and things like that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be what's what we have canonically seen. Yeah, I doubt they're gonna go that far. Uh, oh, you know, you know what? But else I want a Piccolo Hercule <laughs> combo. I I forget. Oh, I forget. Also, Dark and Budokai too. Uh. Uh, Majin Buu, aka uh, his Super Buu form, he also fused with, uh, with Cell and with Frieza. I forgot that was a thing. Oh, that's right. And, and then uh, my favorite one was in uh, where Cell ended up uh, fusing with, or not fusing, but like absorbing Krillin instead. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh man. You know what? Which that probably would have been a better fate than what what actually happened to Krillin when he had to when he had to fight Super Buu. I remember that. You, I remember that episode. Jeez. that was heartbreaking, Everyone man. Died. Oh, everyone oh. died. 
What was going through Toriyama's head that he was just killing off all these characters? Non not nonchalantly, but I guess like he really had to raise up the stakes. I'm like, no, everyone dies. Everyone? Everyone. Well, yeah, so what, what happens is Super Boo just like shoots a beam in the air and it scatters and then like it, it kills everyone. Everyone? Everyone. Yep. How? It just does. He's just that strong. And 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 then all the principal characters, all the characters everyone grew it to love, are all hiding out in the lookout. That he and then once Boo escapes the hyperbolic time chamber, goes to the lookout and kills absolutely everyone. <laughs> I still remember those episodes. Uh, Akrila and Yamcha. God, God bless these fictional characters. They were the first ones to put their lives in the line, and they got turned into chocolate. Right, right in front of, right in front of their friends and family. Sad, sad, really. And like, who else was there? It was them? Eighteen, Marin, Ox King was there. Was Boma there? Yeah, I think Boma. Yeah, pretty Boma much there. like the families were there. Chi Chi. What? And let's see. I, Gohan and Goku were in. What was that Supreme? What was that Kai World called again? Land of the, mm. it's called Land of the Kai's. They were there. Yeah. Vegeta was technically dead. No, he well, not technically, he was dead. Goten and Chunks were in the hyperblock time trailer with Piccolo. And And Hercule was like the last human survivor. <laughs> I swear. Along with that dog. The, the one thing I just never understand is like Chi Chi and Bulma just have no survival instincts. Chi Chi would j literally just goes up to Boo and just, like slaps him. Yeah, she's mad. I, I, it doesn't matter. I I don't care how mad you are. If a man can't even get like if if every single attack is practically ineffective against this man, what do you think a slap will do? Shame him. Nah, the man just turns her into candy. Shame's a powerful tool. <laughs> um, uh, and fair, yeah, it, but yeah, I mean, you're you're right. What, but what else could they really do? They can't really uh, run away forever. This accept ain't your fate. this ain't Dragon just Ball. Your fate. This ain't Dragon Ball the Breakers. Just accept your fate. They kind of did. That's it. No. No, you can't accept your fate by just like slapping a man, thinking that was gonna change anything. Well, at the very, you know, at the very, at the very least, it's it sends it's it's a it's something. It's something. Is is it? It's something. And I think what she did that because it happened to Goku and Gohan, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's an understandable reaction. Mm. And, and, like, and, and, and her young, and her youngest son is stuck in some place that she doesn't know ever gonna see him again. But even then, what about Bulma? Bo uh, Bul her just like slapping Beerus, and I'm... the amount of pat patience that man has. Oh, for... Wait, uh, did she slap Beerus? Did she slap yes. Beerus? What? It's... In the yes. when? I don't remember. During the the first time they met. I remember Beerus hitting her or shoving her. Or, or, I know you hit her. And that's what Vegeta got all... Uh, I think she was trying to attempt it or something. It's been a long time since I've seen Battle of Gods. And, and either version of Battle of Gods or the movie or the super version. So it's been a while. Yes, it's about sending a message. <laughs> it says, well, if you're going to turn to Ken anyway, you might as well get a good uh, slap out, slap in first. Fair enough. Personally, if I, if I was a woman in that situation, I I would get my heels because I'm assuming I'm wearing heels everywhere I go. And I would just stab the person in the eye with, with I the thought stiletto. you were going to say, I would get my heels and start climbing down. <laughs> no. Start climbing down. <laughs> no, I'm going to stab that person in the eye with, with, the, stil with the stiletto. <laughs> Do you think their eyes are also weirdly like hard as rocks or not? No, their eyes. 
I mean, heck, if Goku's not paying attention, even a rock could hurt him in his Super Saiyan form, or at least sting him a bit. Because you know, his body's Still, relaxed. Just like... body's relaxed. He's not looking. He's not anticipating it. True. And uh, think about them as Saren. Tactic, tactical heels. You never know when you need it. Think about it. <laughs> All right, let's finish up this trailer. Okay, in three, two, one, play. Look at that grass. Oh, that grass was a pixel off. Cancel pre order. <laughs> Oh. Look at all this honeycomb. Wish list now. Will I get anything if you I wish list it now? No. No. And Saren Damn. says, don't they like survive blasts and stuff though? Eyes and all. If the eyes weren't also super invulnerable, wouldn't they just melt? Well here's the thing. Um it's not that deep. Number two, anytime a blast does happen, the character you can actually see characters cover their eyes because of all the dirt and debris and and la and lastly they're not throwing radiation at each other it's heat. plasma it's not really it's not plasma it's 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 key it's it is a form of energy that somehow doesn't radiate heat as we know it again it's not that deep if I'm correct, I thought there was some attacks that would radiate heat. Some, but not all. Hmm. God, it's the power it's of friendship. It's the power of friendship. You know, you know what? That's yeah, a better explanation. Down. That's why their eyes don't get damaged. Just imagine Boo having the power of friendship. <laughs> there you go. Without, before, before befriending Uh-oh, Ghetto's warming out. He says he needs more plasma. <laughs> plasma. <laughs> So he says, hey, I'm not the one who posed the question. We're not saying, yeah, we're not saying you are. All right. Oh, by the way, we're not gonna watch. We're not gonna watch it, but I, but I do want to ask, uh, Jack. Uh. Mm -hmm. are, when it comes out, are are we gonna try to get on the Monster Hunter Wilds boat? Uh, I don't know. If, well, it it does come out next year, so maybe you might feel differently when 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 it's actually closer. Like I tried, I tried Monster Hunter World and I liked it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing the 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 part where I need friends to play with. You're missing that X factor. Pretty much, because like it's one of those games where you kind of have to do co op to make it. Or not kind of, ha not have to, but like, it just adds to it. Co-op, co is co-op is part of the of the design and it's part of the experience. Yeah. Yeah, same here. That's why I didn't, I didn't get very far with like the the Monster Hunter game that I have on my 3DS, which was, oh man, which was it? It was it wasn't it wasn't a uh, three ultimate. It was later on, Generations X something like that. Like one of that's for the Monster Hunter fans. It's a, it's one of those ones where it's not like a proper sequel, but it's one of those like, oh here here's a bunch of monsters from these different eras of Monster Hunter all in one game. Stuff like that. God, it's a silly game assuming you had friends. <laughs> Weirdly enough, and when it came to me playing Exified, apparently I had six friends and then more to be able to have a full queue. And oh, and get off! Of, he says, "Yeah, man, hop on with uh with with, with me and Virgo." He says, "You could he goes, you could have asked my man. He'll carry you. He'll carry you all the way to the end." I probably oh, I, that's the thing. I'm always been a a person when it comes to like anything co op where I generally don't like just following the other person around and. Uh, letting them do all the work. Yeah, Jack hates even look, Jack hates being a follower. He sees himself as a leader. Like I just don't like the fact where it's like, 
yeah, I'm gonna let's let's have fun. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. It's gonna be awesome. And he's dead. And then, like, it, it's just like then the the uh, the friend that's like that's obviously super kitted out. They're like they look back at me like, isn't this fun? Like, I didn't do anything, but it's fun, right? I I don't know. I don't know how to fail. Tell me how to fail. <laughs> Well, when you know, I'll get well, when Wilds come out. I'll get on that boat, assuming it's not a a botched game. Wait, but I have confidence. Catcon are pretty good, good on on making quality Monster Hunter games. Um, although, I, and I probably could get get if I want if I wanted to good, good in some some experience with Rise, since that's the last the last one, which I think. Get a character if I'm wrong. I think Rise is now available on Steam. is is not stuck on Switch. I could be wrong. Correct me on that, please. Uh, otherwise, I might have to just go into World. But World, that's that's a pretty uh, by this point, that's a that's a pretty older Monster Hunter game now. All right, so Jack, I uh I share with you on the sources the last video we're gonna check out. Okay, good. So Rise is on P has been on PC for a while. Nice. So, cool. share your video on the sources, Jack, of a game that I, that of a trailer of the release today that I've actually been um, excited for. Now, before now, bef now before uh, the show started, I met I mentioned that this was a game that was kind of like announced, and then we never heard from it ever again. Well. Turns out that the developers were quietly developing the game, just quietly over the over um over the a few years since since it was announced. But finally, guys, I'm gonna sh go ahead. You're gonna see we're gonna be watching watching the tri the official release window trailer for Metal Slug Tactics. Yes, an SNK game that is not a fighting game. <laughs> and because I like me I like me some Metal Slug uh, in many ways. Is actually a lot m much more uh, better than Contra, at least at least visually it is. And those are always fun games, always fun games to play. And you know what? Gosh darn it, Jack! We should do a co-op and play one of the Metal Slug games. See which of us dies the most. That'll be fun. That sounds fun. Yeah, we should definitely. I I'm yeah. surprised we haven't done that. Yeah. Then again, I don't know if any Metal Slug game has online co-op. Is this <laughs> SNK we're talking about? I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Johnny says, "Can SK not suck at marketing for like five minutes?" And and I mean, in fair in in fairness to them, it it probably was there probably w was not it is it, there probably wasn't a lot being updated about this game because it could be a small game for it's a small game. It's actually made by a dev team. That are not that are hired outside of SNK. So the people making this game, they're not SNK proper. Daddy says Fight K has all the metal slug with co-op free of charge. Ah, okay, so he's, okay, so that's always an option. If there's no official release, we can go through that avenue if we ch uh, so choose to. I am seeing here that. Uh, okay, here's the weird thing. So one has co-op mm -hmm. online co-op right three has online co-op okay we skip two and then two has split screen co-op let's share like physically be there <laughs> yeah okay i see huh x has online co-op and then Double X has shared split screen co op. You know, maybe that I think we just go with the fight Kate option. <laughs> More consistent. And then Triple X. Oh, oh. Oh, that, that, yeah, that oh. one. Oh. <laughs> I think we, I, you know what? We probably need to set up a that private. That one's if you're really. About to set up really, a. Uh... Let's set up a private, private stream for that, for that game. Hey, yo. <laughs> You gotta pay to you gotta pay to enter to watch. <laughs> Only on Twitch. Only on our OnlyFans. 
Exactly. Oh wait, no, Fansly, Fansly. I think that's the new one, right? Is that the new one? Oh, you know more than me. Her. Oh, I... <laughs> Someone tell me, is that the new OF? To get... is... Was there a thing about like OF not being able to promote something? What's the new? I don't know. What's the new thought meta? Show us the new thought meta. Yeah, the new thought meta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and watch this quick little let's quit little trick. <laughs> Jackie Boy got it out as a gooner. <laughs> right, nah, nah. <laughs> you can't goon. You gotta finish it. Can't goon when you got Apparently no gooning is is edging. Can't goon when you got no balls. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go watch this. this. is a little short trailer for Metal Slug Tactics. Are you ready, Jack? I'm ready. All right, in three, two, one, play. I love it already. Ooh, you got some animation. I like this, the art style with this one too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good, good way to incorporate the metal uh, art style. Yay, we got to save the hostages. We got our normal villains, so when the alien's gonna show up. Oh, there's the mummy monsters. Yep, only a matter of time. I wonder if they, uh, ooh, it'd be nice if they could put Ralph and Clark in this game. Or Leona, just any of the Ikari warriors, that would be nice. Yep, short and sweet. Uh, hold on, I did not read when it, when it, when it will come out. It says fall, the fall twenty twenty four on basically everything. Oh, <laughs> for a second I thought that said PS three and PS four. I'm like, damn, it's even coming on the PS three. <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh wait, I just on. noticed. I'm oh, wondering. I, I'm actually hoping. <laughs> uh, this one will be out with the Nintendo vouchers. Um, does the Nintendo vouchers go for uh the? Can you get any game with them, or just ex only Nintendo games? Mm, I think technically, well, I don't remember if it's just like Nintendo exclu exclusives or not. But uh, most of them is like either the forty dollar price up to the seventy dollar price for like big name games. Hmm. I mean, I will be surprised if this could be hit or miss. Oh, either either case, I'll, it's a new Metal Slug game that's surprisingly not an arcade shooter. This I think we were check, checking out just on that, and I doubt it's gonna be charged that expensive of, of, of a game. At least they better not. Ajay, he doesn't know how to feel about it. I mean, if I like it, I like the idea of it. Yeah. It, it, if you're into tactics games, it could be something worth it could be something worthwhile. Uh at least presentation wise. You know, uh I'll scroll through the trailer for, for those. It it kind of reminds me of uh, a Fire Emblem a bit with the bird's eye view. Well not well, most all types of games are bird's eye view. But what I mean um uh, but I guess with with the with the type of the sprite work and the um and the and the over the top character portraits it reminds me of something of Fire Emblem, uh, or if I want to go older, what's that Sega, or uh, strat? What's that Sega RPG strategy game? Shining, Shining Force? Yeah, Shining Force. Maybe something like that too. Now, hopefully, that now, and I'm and I'm sure there's gonna be a permadeath mode in this game. <laughs> That'll be fun. But um, Damn. yeah, it, it looks neat, and who knows? This could be a deep. This this could either be a fun casual uh, tactics game that just it's fun to pick up and play, or it could be something surprisingly deep, uh, that will require all your wits and 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 brain and brain juice in order in order to complete. Either way, it will be hard to mess up a game like this. True. That's about it. Yeah, those are all the things I'll check out. Uh, check out. I'm just glad though that Metal Slug Tactics finally has a, at least we get an idea when it's coming out, which is later in the year. So that is nice. 
And as a game, better market this game more. I tell, tell you what. I tell you what. And Johnny, he asked you, Jack, that oh, he's always oh, telling you, or rather, he says, putting Jotaro's daughter, Jolene, <laughs> why not just say Jolene, in, the, in that mobile game he likes. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, the town's pretty cool. Oh my! I do know that I was trying. My brother was watching Stone Ocean for the first time, and he. <laughs> I just realized. I just realized something. Mm -hmm. Is Jolene a reference? Like her name? Is it a reference to that it Jolene? Could be. I I because be. I just pe hold on hold on hold the phone. Yeah, oh yeah, yes. Uh, oh and, yeah, oh so it is the reference. Oh, okay. Damn. Damn. Iraqi Ara here knows a little bit of country. Where that is honestly surprising. <laughs> they actually reference it in the anime. Oh. I wonder how That means I, I, Jotaro I, listens to a lot of country. No, not, not necessarily. Jolene by Dolly Parton. Is one of those country songs that you don't even have to listen to country to know about it. That's how popular it is. But um, I just like to have that mentality of like a freaking <laughs> southern Jotaro. Johnny, my my now I'm not working overtime. I don't listen to a lot to any Dolly Parton. Heck, I barely heck I barely know know of this. I barely know of the song jo, uh, Jolene. But don't, oh, don't try to do that on me. But don't try to do, don't try to pin that on me. But she says most people don't, you know, have the references that JoJo makes, anyways. There, and it says everyone should should, uh, should know Dolly Parton, or at least know of her. I, oh, I remember the last time I saw her, I saw her not personally, but on the TV. I think it was, it was this year. Yeah, was it this year? When was this? Was it Super Bowl? No, she did. No, she did before the Super Bowl. What was it? Thanksgiving. When was that Dolly Parton performance where she dressed up as a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader? I'm trying to remember. Cause I saw that live. Let's see. Uh, this was okay. Okay, it was la It was Thanksgiving last year. That's when she show showed up in a. And a Thanksgiving football, American football game, and dress at the age of seventy-seven, it dressed up as a, a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. And uh, and you know what? Good for her. Good for her. <laughs> she, she still sings. Assuming assuming that it wasn't um, she wasn't lip syn uh lip syncing or use or, or whatever. Uh, she still has she she still can the, the woman can still sing. So good on her. But funny enough, though, funny enough, I only I first knew of her, not from her music or her actual career. I knew of Dolly Parton because I saw her in a few episodes of Hannah Montana. <laughs> That's how I was introduced to one of the. I'm trying to remember the freaking lyrics of Hannah Montana. Uh, I. I just all I remember is you get the best of bro, both worlds, and that's it. You get the best of both worlds. You take, you, know, the, uh, you get the best. You keep it all together. The only thing you know that I don't know why the only thing worlds. I remember was what was that kid's name? Rico, I think his name was. Oh, you you I mean? Oh, oh, the little kid who owned that juice stand that uh, Jackson worked in. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's not Rico. It's Rico. The one thing I freaking remember is how they tried to really hammer on this joke that wasn't funny, but it's not, it's constantly stuck in my head. And anytime, whenever I get one, it, it like I have to, I have to say it like that. Right. Would you like an empanada? <laughs> I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. Granted, I didn't laugh a lot in the well when those scenes come up between Jackson and Rico. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rico. Then again, 
then again, I, if you would have asked me a, a, during that po- that point in time, I would try to deny that I actually that I would that I did watch Hannah Montana. And if you did call me, it's only because I'm watching it because my little sister uh puts it on. And there's nothing else to watch. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god, I'm, I'm rewatching this sh- I'm rewatching that scene. <laughs> What the hell is going on with this whole show? I don't remember this scene. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sure it's gonna. I'm sure a whole bunch of things are gonna look weird. If it, try to go back and watch that show. Oh yeah, it's like you know what? One of the one of the white girls says, "I would like an empanada." It's like it's not empanada, it's empanada. So that's how it went. Yeah, there we go. I want an empanada from Canada to fit in my lanada. <laughs> all right then that's all I have, and, and those are all the videos for to for tonight so some things that i'm ex- so a few things i'm excited for and as well some things that are we'll see when they come we'll see what they come out oh and by the way and by the way ghetto uh I'm actually not going to get Sparking Zero if they literally do not have a rally in it. I mean, I get it. At the same time, it's like, it's, it's like, ah, golly, come on, man. Come on. Like, just like, come on. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> can't be, you can't be that sc- scrutinized. I still got Dragon Ball Fighters, even though I wanted Master Roshi. He eventually came in. You know, it took a while. Uh, Johnny says, look, Dash, I didn't make Ariana bite her own toe. Those shows were weird. I mean, it's, it's a different studio, but y- you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And I'm, oh, I think I remember that uh, Miley Cyrus, this is years ago, she wrote like a letter to Hannah Montana. Like, it wasn't like to promote anything. Like, on a social media post, she wrote like a letter to her character. As if she was a real person. Huh. Yeah, it's a... I read it. What I can remember, it was basically... She's kind of... She feels bittersweet about it. Or it's like, basically, yeah, you know... Without you, I would not have this career. But at the same time, there's a lot of things from that time. Looking back that, you know, I don't want to relive ever again. Stuff like that. You know what's funny? What? There, there, there has been some kids nowadays that kind of watch, or no, have heard about Hannah Montana, right? And they actually think that they're two different people. <laughs> I, I literally saw a video. Where it was a, uh, it was a, pretty much a child going like, "No, they're different people." Like you're telling me that Hannah. And Miley Cyrus are the same people. You're dumb. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, damn, I feel old, don't I? Yep. Oh, Ghetto, he gives us some insight. He says, I remember Miley straight up said, the second she lost her virginity, she didn't want to put the Hannah Montana wig on ever again. Yep, like, it, you know what's funny? That show probably should have stopped after the third season, but they went for a fourth season, and they moved to a basically a different set it just wasn't the same vibe because you get to everyone's now a bit too old for this show <laughs> oh yeah today's generation don't realize joji and filthy frank were the same people next you're gonna tell some people that were like oh at least he's not pink guy i'm like mm. ne- next you're gonna t- you sure about that next you're gonna tell me that master roshi and jackie chen are the same people which they're not they're two different people i would not hear other- <laughs> i would not hear otherwise <laughs> <laughs> Sarah says I was. She was in the Lizzie McGuire That's So Raven era. Yeah, that I mean the, ha, the Hannah Montana came slightly after. So basically, it, you know, it all boils down to this for all our American audience who grew, grew up in the two thousands. <laughs> there is there there is American TV pre High School Musical and post High School Musical. So and and I was of the generation that I kept watching. I. Like I watched pre, during, and post High School Musical, so you should be able to figure out when you started or stopped watching a lot of that live action show. 
based on just this one movie with High School Musical that took the world by storm. Not only the only thing I can think of, like, I I can only imagine how terrible the production was for That's So Raven, not because of like the 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 show itself, but like, I can't imagine keeping character when they're like, all right, uh, look at the camera, you're 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 gonna have your vision, and then you do, you look at you have to look at the camera to do that little vision thing she does. Oh, with uh, That's So Raven. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and they're like, "Hmm, okay, it it was good, but we we're gonna need to do it again." <laughs> and let's see, it so, says so the last high school musical came out when when she was in college. Now that's a trick question. Do you mean of the original series, or the or the cur or the current one, or or the recent one where it's where they made an actual musical out of High School Musical? Is there any called High School Musical the Musical? I'm not kidding. <laughs> Johnny says, I still have written. <laughs> Just says that there's a current one. Yep, there is. And uh and the and the kid and the kiddies and, and, and that thing look even younger than the kiddies back in high school musical days. <laughs> is there was I already swear. a musical? What do you mean? That's, that's what I'm saying. It's literally called High School Musical the Musical. I, I swear, the our generation keeps falling for the same crap, and they keep wanting, they keep wanting different things, but they, but their, their, their wallets are asking for something else. They're like, we want original content. Ooh, iCarly. We want original content. Ooh, that's a Raven reboot. Ooh, yeah, Ra Raven. I think it was Raven's home, Raven's house, something like that. Oh, she finally took over the White House. <laughs> no, no, no. Cory's in the house. No, no, no. no, no, that, it's no house. that show will never be acknowledged ever again. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Johnny says I, he still harbors an unhealthy crush towards Liz Gillies, his victorious. She was the best singer of the bunch, in his opinion. I, I think of Lexi of 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 all the uh teen teen actresses. That I, that I remote uh, remote that I had any re uh, attraction or being like ooh she's cute I think out of all of them it was in hindsight I didn't think of much of it at the time but probably most likely Selena Gomez although uh, uh definitely uh, Selena Gomez she has she has that Latina look at her I don't know what to say. It's especially more evident. It's more evident now. Gail you know, says that they didn't acknowledge Corey at all in Ravenstone, and they don't acknowledge Eddie either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. They were definitely not going to acknowledge uh, those two particular characters. Oh, who was? Oh, who was that guy? Uh, who's that? Yeah, no, who's that guy? <laughs> who is that guy that the 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 uh the actor who plays Eddie? Who was that guy that that he blamed that was it, like making him suck his dick? Who, who was he again? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Jack, do you remember Eddie from That's the Raven? No. Okay. Mm. Okay. Do you remember the, the 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 main trio? So it's Raven, Chelsea. And oh, I gotta look. I gotta look up this game. I just took. I just looked at his picture. Okay, so the actor. Okay, yeah. The actor, now I do. Yeah, the actor's name is Orlando Brown, and mm -hmm. and Orlando Brown, unfortunately, uh, he is just as messed up as a lot of child actors. And there's an infamous interview where he said that, uh, like the famous, uh, like the famous uh TV host, uh, uh Nick Cannon. I think that he either he get uh that he that he performed oral sex on Nick Cannon, I believe. Something like that. He said that like on, on live TV. Huh. He's like, I suck Nick Cannon's dick. <laughs> and they get Nick Cannon to like and deny, deny, deny all of that. <laughs> uh, or or is that, or is the other way around? I forget which one it is. 
<laughs> Little Bow Wow got some bullets. Oh my god. He said that on Facebook Live at a Walmart. <laughs> oh man. What little Bow Wow doing? Are we get are we gonna get a like by three? <laughs> Oh, with all these early 2000s videos coming back to me, Jax. Coming back to me. Miss Eris is the only <laughs> child character I wanted to, to beat, beat her. She wanted to beat her up. Was she, was she go? Ah, oh, boring answer. I heard it. I heard it. seen it a thousand times. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. This game, Miss Sarah. You sure? <laughs> You sure you don't want to say Chico has a bomb ass pussy on Facebook Live in a Walmart? God damn. Why? <laughs> Why? I'm I'm sure there's someone who's willing to do that. <laughs> Gotta say it loud and proud for all the people to see. <laughs> oh man, all these things. All these things are getting are getting to the head, making dumb jokes. All right, let's go ahead properly start ending this stuff before I say something even more silly and ridiculous. <laughs> Doctor Crow says, "Why do I watch this show? It's for this exact reason why you watch the show. Are there any other YouTube streams that are gonna talk about all this nerdy stuff? Plus, little Bow Wow, the stuff with Orlando Bloom, Nick Cannon, and the fact and the fact that <clears throat> excuse me." The fact that I only remember Dolly pa and the fact they found a way to connect from uh, JoJo to Dolly Parton. I thought so. That's what makes us unique, Dr. Crow. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> yeah, you guys can share a little Bow Wow clip. So I'm going to put it on my Discord. I want to see it. <laughs> All right, let's actually start ending things. Jack, yeah, go ahead. Anything you want to announce uh, for the end of the stream? Uh... I will keep everyone updated on I don't know if I wanna if I wanna stream tomorrow. Because like it it's just like I had to wake up extra early and I had to take a nap. So I, I don't know. I'll keep y'all updated about tomorrow. Alright then. And as for and as for me, I will be doing a I would be doing a chill stream this this weekend. And I and, and and as well, I will be diligently working behind the scenes on re-uploading re-uploading our recent episodes into uh into slightly edited videos, uh mostly for co for convenience and and to kind of uh appease the the appease you a uh, YouTube in a way. I'll put it as best way I can put it. So I'll be doing so. You'll be seeing re-upload re-up re-uploads of that. Um, uh, slowly but surely, ho hopefully to the point where we can, I can finally catch up to the uh, the current episode number, and Alex, oh, and, and as well, I'll still be working on the ongoing projects that had that I had been working on. So with that, oh, thank you, Ghetto. I will check it out later. And with that, thank you everyone for such a lively and fun and fun episode of the Hack Jack Show. Episode one hundred eighty-five. Thank you everyone for joining for joining us, and hopefully we've entertained you tonight. So, until then, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, and for anyone watching this when this is eventually real, as a proper video, of course, do all all that fun YouTube stuff that they like us to say, the comment, the sharing, and the laugh, all that all that stuff. You know what it is. And with that, actually, fun fact: if you say. Yep. Uh, subscribe to our channel. It apparently will have a little notification, like it'll flash. The button will flash. Uh -huh. So, can you guys subscribe to the ah, channel? It feels dirty when you say. It. Don't do that. Hey, hey, but I want to see the. I want to see the effect. I want to see the effect. Uh, all right. <laughs> Leave a like. Hopefully that there's a. Here's there. Hopefully there is one for the like button. Leave a like. It, is this working? <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's working. All right, guys. <laughs> Bid you again. It doesn't work when it's live, Dr. Crow. <laughs> it works when it's <laughs> Johnny with that smash. Smash yeah. me. 
<laughs> All right, let's, let's properly end. Thank you very much for watching. This is Hack and Jack signing out. <laughs>